Today, we're diving into why the rich are getting richer in today's economy. We'll unpack key reasons for the wealth gap and what we can learn from the ultra-wealthy. Understanding these advantages can help you level up your financial game. We'll cover the power of the stock market, real estate, and education. So, grab your notebooks and get ready to unlock the secrets to wealth creation. Let's get started. The first reason why the rich are getting richer is their savvy use of the stock market. Now, I'm not talking about day trading or trying to get rich quick schemes. I'm talking about long-term strategic investing in companies that are positioned for growth. You see, the wealthy understand that the stock market is like a giant snowball rolling downhill. The more you invest, the more it compounds over time and the faster it grows. They're not afraid of a little volatility in the market. In fact, they see it as an opportunity to buy low and sell high. While many people are stuck in the cycle of trading their time for money, the rich are building wealth passively through their investments. They're literally making money while they sleep, and that's a powerful concept. This isn't about luck. It's about understanding how to research companies, diversify your portfolio, and let the power of compound interest work its magic. And speaking of magic, why not subscribe to our channel? Because you know, subscribing is the real secret to getting rich. Or at least it might make you feel like it. Just kidding. Or am I? Let's talk about real estate. Another playground where the wealthy tend to excel. Now you might be thinking, real estate is expensive. And you're right, it can be. But the rich see real estate not just as a place to live, but as a powerful wealth building tool. They understand that real estate is a tangible asset that tends to appreciate in value over time, especially in desirable locations. Plus, it generates passive income through rent, which can then be reinvested to buy even more properties. It's a beautiful cycle of cash flow and appreciation. Think about it. Every time someone pays rent, they're essentially paying down the mortgage on an asset that's growing in value. The rich understand this, and they use it to their advantage building portfolios of rental properties that generate significant wealth over time. Remember that game Monopoly? Well, the wealthy are playing it in real life, strategically acquiring properties and building their empires. One house, one apartment complex, one commercial building at a time. All right, let's talk about business empires. You see, the rich, they don't just work for someone else. They create their own opportunities. They're out there building businesses, turning ideas into money-making machines. Think about it. Owning a successful business is like having your own personal money printer, working for you 24-7, even while you sleep. It's not about trading time for money anymore. It's about building something that generates wealth on autopilot. These entrepreneurs, they're the modern-day emperors, and their companies, those are their kingdoms. They're not just selling products or services. They're building legacies, creating jobs and disrupting entire industries. And you know what the best part is? It's not limited to some exclusive club. Anyone with the right mindset, hustle and a solid plan can step into the ring and start building their own empire. Now let's be real. Education is key. And I'm not just talking about your basic high school diploma. The wealthy, they understand the value of top tier education. We're talking Ivy League schools, private tutors, specialized programs. They spare no expense when it comes to investing in knowledge. But it's not just about the fancy degrees. These exclusive institutions, they offer something even more valuable connections. The people you meet in these circles, they become your network, your future business partners, your mentors. It's like an exclusive club where future leaders are groomed. And let's not forget about the lifelong learning. The wealthy, they're constantly investing in themselves, attending seminars, hiring coaches, reading books. They understand that knowledge is power, and the more you learn, the more you earn. So, while a college degree isn't the only path to success, it's undeniable that access to quality education and the right networks can give you a massive head start in the game of wealth. Ever heard the phrase, it's not what you know, it's who you know? Well, the wealthy take that to a whole new level. For them, networking isn't just casual cocktail parties, it's about strategic relationship building. We're talking power lunches, exclusive charity galas, and yes, even those infamous golf games. These aren't just social gatherings, 
There are opportunities to connect with the movers and shakers, the decision makers, the people who can open doors that would otherwise remain closed. Deals are struck, partnerships are formed, and fortunes are made, all while sipping on expensive wine or sinking a crucial putt. Now, I'm not saying you need to join a country club tomorrow, but understanding the importance of building a strong network is crucial. Attend industry events, join professional organizations, and don't be afraid to reach out to people you admire. Remember, your network is your net worth. Building genuine relationships and surrounding yourself with driven, successful individuals can propel you towards your own financial goals. And hey, if you want to network with us, hit that subscribe button. Who knows, maybe one day we'll be sipping expensive wine together. Or at least you'll get more tips on how to get there. All right, let's talk about taxes. You know, those pesky things that eat away at your hard-earned cash? Well, the rich, they've got a whole different game plan. They're basically doing tax gymnastics, flipping and twisting through loopholes that would make your head spin. Think about it. They've got teams of lawyers and accountants who spend all day figuring out how to minimize their tax burden. They're talking deductions most of us have never even heard of. And trust me, they're using every single one. It's like a whole secret language they speak, capital gains, deductions, offshore accounts. It's enough to make you want to pull your hair out, right? But hey, that's why they're rich. And, well, why we're working on getting there, so what can we learn from this? Well, maybe it's time to brush up on our own tax knowledge, because even saving a little bit can make a big difference in the long run. Let's face it, starting life with a trust fund is like being handed a winning lottery ticket at birth. It's like starting a marathon at mile 20 while everyone else is still lacing up their shoes. Now, I'm all about hard work. But there's no denying that inherited wealth gives you a massive head start. It opens doors to opportunities most people can only dream of. Think about it. No student loans to worry about. Seed money for your first business. A network of family connections. It's like having a cheat code for the game of life. But hey, don't get discouraged. Remember, even without a silver spoon, we can still build our own wealth. It might take a little longer, a little more hustle, but it's definitely achievable. Remember playing Monopoly as a kid? Well, the rich are playing it in real life, but on a global scale. They're not limiting themselves to just one city, one state, or even one country. They're investing all over the world. Think about it. Real estate in Dubai, startups in Silicon Valley, stocks in emerging markets. They're diversifying their portfolios and tapping into opportunities most of us don't even know exist. While we're sleeping, their money is working for them 24-7, generating passive income from every corner of the globe. It's like having a money-making machine that never stops. Now, I'm not saying we need to become international jet-setters overnight, but it does highlight the importance of thinking bigger and exploring different investment opportunities. All right, let's talk tech. You think those billionaires got rich using flip phones? No way. The wealthy understand that technology is the future, and they're all over it like avocado on toast in Silicon Valley. They're not just buying the latest iPhone, they're investing in the companies that make them, and the ones developing the next big thing you haven't even heard of yet. They're backing startups, funding research, and basically shaping the technological landscape to their advantage. They're early adopters, they see the potential before anyone else, and they're willing to take calculated risks. While we're waiting for the price to drop on the newest gadget, they're already reaping the rewards of being ahead of the curve. Remember, in the world of tech, knowledge is power, and the rich. Ever notice how the rich just seem to keep getting richer? One word, scale. They understand that when it comes to business, bigger is often better. Think about it. Amazon didn't become a trillion-dollar company by selling one book at a time. The wealthy build empires, massive companies with economies of scale that allow them to negotiate lower prices, streamline operations, and dominate entire markets. They can afford to lose a little on one end because they're making it up tenfold on the other. Meanwhile, the rest of us are stuck in economy class, paying retail prices and struggling to compete. It's like trying to race a Ferrari with a bicycle. You might get there eventually, but it's going to be a long and exhausting ride. Let's face it, relying on a single source of income is risky business. That's why the wealthy diversify, and I'm not just talking about their stock portfolio. We're talking real estate, businesses, art, collectibles, you name it. 
They've got their fingers in all sorts of pies, ensuring that if one market takes a hit, they've got plenty of other investments to cushion the blow. It's like having a safety net woven from $100 bills. They can afford to take risks because they know that even if one venture fails, it's not the end of the world. They've got backup plans and backup plans for their backup plans. This kind of diversification not only protects their wealth, it allows it to grow exponentially. While some investments might be ticking along steadily, others could be skyrocketing in value, creating a snowball effect of wealth accumulation. Remember, diversification is key, whether you're investing $100 or 100 million. Let's talk about lobbying. Those tax loopholes didn't just appear. Think again. The wealthy influence those who write the rules. High-powered lobbyists wine and dine politicians. And it works. Tax laws get rewritten, regulations relaxed. The rich stack the deck in their favor. It's like bending the rules without breaking them. Political influence is as valuable as investments. Complicated tax breaks, someone lobbied for it. Ever tried getting a loan from a bank? It's like pulling teeth, right? You need perfect credit, a rock-solid business plan, and even then, there's no guarantee they'll approve you. Now imagine a world where getting a loan is as easy as sending a text message. That's the reality for the wealthy. They have access to a level of capital that most of us can only dream of. Need a few million to launch a new business? No problem, just call your private banker. Want to buy a multi-million dollar property? Easy, you've got a network of private lenders ready to back you. This access to capital is like having a cheat code for wealth creation. They can leverage this money to invest in opportunities that are simply out of reach for the average person. They're not limited by their own savings or strict lending requirements. This easy access to capital is a key reason why the rich get richer. Okay, imagine this. You walk into a room and it's not just any room. It's filled with these financial masterminds. You've got financial advisors sharper than a freshly tailored suit, tax experts who see loopholes others wouldn't even dream of, and investment gurus who practically speak in stock ticker symbols. That, my friends, is the everyday reality for the wealthy. They've got a whole team dedicated to making their money work harder than a Tesla on autopilot. These financial wizards, they don't just manage money, they make it multiply faster than you can say compound interest. And let's be real, who wouldn't want that? It's like having a personal chef. But instead of whipping up gourmet meals, they're cooking up some serious financial gains. You and I might be trying to figure out our monthly budget, and these guys are strategizing on how to turn millions into billions. That's the power of having a financial dream team on your side. We hear a lot about the income gap, right? But let's be honest, it's more like a wealth canyon. It's like this. Imagine two people starting a race. One gets a head start, a brand new Tesla, while the other is running barefoot. That's the reality of wealth inequality. The rich, they're not just earning more. They're sitting on mountains of assets, stocks, real estate, you name it. These assets generate passive income, which just keeps growing their wealth, even while they sleep. It's a cycle that's tough to break out of, especially when the rules seem to be written in their favor. Meanwhile, the rest of us, we're stuck in a system that often feels rigged. We're working hard, trying to get ahead, but it's like running on a treadmill. We're putting in the effort, but not really getting anywhere. It's a tough reality, but understanding it is the first step to changing it. And there you have it, Elite Minds. 15 reasons why the rich are getting richer in this crazy new economy. Remember, knowledge is power. And the more you understand how the system works, the better equipped you'll be to navigate it. Don't forget to smash that like button if you found this video insightful. And hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future deep dives into the world of wealth and luxury. Got any thoughts on wealth inequality? Maybe you've got your own strategies for joining the ranks of the wealthy. Let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys. Until next time, stay rich and stay fabulous.